rearranged the garage multiple times and no matter what I do, the garage just simply isn't working because I got like too much going on. So now that I want to start spray painting, I discovered a problem and the problem is the smell and the neighbors. I had my mask on and my mask worked so well. I couldn't smell any paint whatsoever. And now I made one, two, three, four, five, five, five houses smell like paint. It really stinks. Just sitting in here with paint fumes now. Just me and that primer. I hope, I hope no one comes over and yells at me. I'm just going to hope that no one says anything. To everybody, I'm sorry. I hear people moving. Hey, please don't come over. Please don't come over. Please don't come over. I feel like I'm going to be in big trouble. I went out the back and it doesn't smell like paint anymore. Or, or it, all, it all just smells like paint in here and, and in here. Just prime that again in an hour. But I don't think I'm gonna eat for two reasons. One, I don't want to breathe any more of that in. Two, I don't want to upset the neighbours tonight again. And three, this stuff's expensive. I accidentally found a porta potty. I thought that was gonna be a green screen as well. I thought, oh wow, we got so many screens. And I popped that open and it was a, an ensuite toilet. Anyway, I'm thinking I might use it for painting. I feel really bad. No one said anything, but I just feel like there's so much stuff I want to paint. Like, look at all this paint that I have down there. It has to go on things. Okay, so we just sanded our very first project ever. I've never sanded anything in my life. And I sanded a Poeng chair. This one will be the sacrificial chair because you know, it doesn't work out. Everything so far that I feel like I've messed up on, someone's bought it. So someone might buy this bad boy. I've decided to go with the red. Because I'm feeling crazy. This Poeng chair is going to get the squirts. A gloss cherry red. We are going to skip priming. You cannot stop. You cannot stop the rock. Oh no, it's hit all the flooring. How did it get on the floor? That is strong. It's really strong. I don't think that worked as well as I wanted it to. I feel like there's a red mist line over everything. Looks like the red did get out. I've got to make sure it didn't get on the car. I tried my best with the tent this time. I don't know what the chair looks like, but it's only half done. It's a half-baked red chair. I have to leave because I'm not getting poisoned. The floor's red. I hope this car is not got a touch of raspberry. It could be on everything. Everything could be red. Raspberry, gloss, cherry, red. I'm going home. I'll deal with this tomorrow. So last night I was attempting to make a very cool and unique looking Poang chair. Cherry red gloss from Squirts. This stunk so bad. The fumes were just awful. I couldn't leave the garage. I had to stay here and keep like airing the thing out. But then we, each time I aired it out, it was so potent and so strong. It was worse than the primer. It just kept wafting over to everybody and I just kept thinking, oh no, everyone could smell this. Cause like this garage is part of a like home. So everyone lives in these homes. Here I am just working that smell I thought was wafting over to that neighbour, to this neighbour, and to that neighbour. One, two, three, four, five people I could potentially harm. Entire garage just filled up with this fume. It, there was a mist, and I was worried that I got red on the car, which I think I did. I had to stop spraying. This is as far as we got. Look at that. What is this? I had to stop spraying because it was just too potent. I'm just like, I can't do this. I can't spray in this garage. I ran around and I filled up water, uh, buckets of water. I put as many buckets of water as possible because that absorbs the smell. And I found 
found the last bicarb soda I had and I put that all around the garage because that absorbs the smell. I read onions, it's supposed to put onions, but I didn't have any onions on me. But I happened to go shopping earlier that day and I had some potatoes. So I was able to like break some potatoes open and I put the potatoes around and I was hoping they would absorb the smell. I just got a whole bunch of like clean rags and I wet them and I put them down along here, hoping that would absorb the smell and stop it going outside the crack of the garage. Maybe we'll cover this tent up. Maybe this tent is useless. I used my clean three poeing chairs that I just bissled and I put them over it. And then I put a basketball mat that's like an expensive basketball training mat. I put that over top, that was heavy. Then I put towels over and then I found two spare uh, bed sheets in the garage and then I put them over. And then I put the foam, the poeing foam, the inner foam, I put the foam all the way around the base. Anyway, it started to work. Anyway, I had to stay here till like 10 p.m. at night so that I could really air it out. So when everybody like was quiet, then I opened everything up. Finally, smell left. Anyway, I came back in this morning. I can still smell it a little. <sighs> anyway, I don't know how to finish the chair now. I don't know. I don't know what to do. So there's a tent, a very expensive tent that was meant for resale. Oh, it's in this cupboard. I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to dedicate it to science. And I'm going to put that up here and then I'm going to buy two fans, one in fan and one extractor. Mm -hmm.